Holy shit! Stopped by wolves, but not slowing down. <laughs> Those sequences are really cool. Back to a car. The Jill's wallet. Uh, is it night now? Oh, in the real fuck. World, now knew who the icebound man was. Jill Lachance. The general Jill Lachance. manager himself. Uh, okay. Damn, is it really night now? <laughs> uh, that sucks. Sucks really hard. That had to be the worst parking job ever. Yeah, kind of. Who was Carl to judge, though? It may be customary to park like that around these parts, or not. Holy shit, this is not good. And then this is how you had to make the night come. Okay, whatever. Um. Holy shit. I feel like something's gonna jump us. Okay, should I... In the dark, it's recommended to use a flashlight or lantern. Yeah. I was thinking that as well. There was just one moment now that I thought my eyes would be getting used to the dark a little better, but apparently not. Okay, we're gonna use those. We're gonna go back to the car where we have headlights, right? The general store. Headlights are even on. <laughs> he just doesn't turn off his car ever. But yeah, again in the snow, the gasoline doesn't seem to be a problem. Anything? Oh, I didn't put that blanket over the over the guy. I'm pretty sure I did not. Hmm. Think I photographed that one. Hello, is somebody home? Some cool person that I could talk to? That could help me? That knows about the beast? No? Okay then. <laughs> Gotta see. The night definitely makes this spooky. Spooky as fuck, man. Hmm. All right, okay then. Gonna continue. Just drive to somewhere. Yeah, that's fun music, that's better. And holy shit. Even if... Oh God. Uh, I'm just gonna drive with my map on all the times. Is it? Eh. <laughs> it doesn't matter if it is day or night. You can't just... You can't fucking see at all. Eh. Okay, wait a minute. Where the fuck that's the garage? Where's the fucking street? What, what, what are those bushes? Is that the best you... Okay, and now I'm driving by this now. Not the fucking... Oh god, okay. Where's the street? 
Are you the street? You are the street. Okay, now. Holy shit. Damn. I do not know what is worse, driving at night in the game or driving <laughs> at day. It's really similarly bad. You can't see anything. Da, 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 da. But then again, yeah. That's the atmosphere they're aiming for, right? Snowstorm. Nothing's gonna help you. This is not your element. You should be home. A landslide. The track was fresh. That meant the car sunk down just a little while ago. Now where hmm. the hell could the passengers possibly have gone? Not sure, but Carl they was becoming increasingly convinced that this was not normal hunting. The game that was being tracked was fearsome. So much so that the hunter didn't dare approach it. What could it be? <sighs> Something not good. You read the diary, man. Anything in here? Nope. Hmm. Just gonna wander off in the woods then. Now I could use my fucking snowmobile. Does it lose that when it's hit or something? Tracks that go that direction. Should I really follow them? They said it was fresh. I swore. I swore. Carl knew why he was suddenly shivering. He was oh. going back to the realm of visions. Carl had no issue recognizing the spirit like figures, but he couldn't figure out what they wanted from him. The phantom. Freed of reality's shackles, vanished in the forest. Earlier, Carl had witnessed a tragedy that befell it. Another phantom disappeared in the wilderness. Carl had seen what happened to it, too. A third phantom gently faded away. Carl noticed that as the cursed villagers finally left reality, he could feel a sense of unburdening exuding from them in an almost intimate way. Okay. The last phantom, lost in solitude up until now, joined the others in the forest's darkness, free at last to enjoy an eternal, well-deserved slumber. Carl was only beginning to understand the horror that struck his village. He understood that the dead were piling up and that he couldn't help them by himself. The road was clear for him. He needed to push further north and fast to find help. Okay, right, so we needed all the four people, so I guess I did not <laughs> do such a bad job on uh, exploring everything, if we got all that we needed, good, good, that's good, that I like, mm. do we have the ice wall here, no, Should, ah, okay, who are those four people? Strangers, uh, wall, grab fast. Uh, trapping us. What's one more weird phenomenon around here? Seems like the four glowing ghostly silhouettes have something to do with all this. Hmm, yeah. Somehow they're... Those are the frozen guys, right? So... Those are the souls that have been taken or something? Not sure. Maybe there are more secrets to find on, at the crime scene. The general store. Really? Really? Okay. Let me drive back there then. Maybe. Maybe. I'm gonna give you maybe. Okay. Uh, 
Heading to my car. Landslide. Alright. Ranger manual. The manual owner seems to be Wilfred Roy. Okay. Nothing more to add. Someone must have dropped this in a hurry. But whoever did was heading into the woods. Carl's tracking instincts were quickly kicking in. Yeah. And they said, let's go back to the general store because there might be something hidden. Ay, ay, ay. I was at the place so many times. Is there something new now? I... I saw that... He was covered with a blanket, which I didn't do, so yeah, I saw that something was going on. But... What exactly do you want? We only have to go... With maybe there is something still hidden at the crime scene. Crime scene general store. The general store. Alright, parky here. So. Now, maybe we got something in there. Yeah, maybe here, but I don't have the fucking key to this. Hey man, what's with your face? Hmm? This place is a mess, yeah. Oh yeah, wait a minute. Actually, this has been smashed a little more, hasn't it? That one was intact. Right? Right, oh shit. Hmm. Carl? You wanna, uh... Pick up some clues? Some hints, you know? Just, uh, feel free. Hello? You wanna... This place is a mess. Yeah, helpful. Thank you. I had too many of those in Korea. Yeah. Didn't even travel half the province of... Quebec to come here. Something's Amateur not quite right. Pride in having killed a nice pelted beast. With men like this roaming the area, wolves would become extinct within ten years, Carl thought. Mm -hmm. A nice picture of the Magasin La Chance store, seemingly taken the day it was first opened. It feels frozen in time, from an era long forgotten. Jumping from that height was akin to tempting death. <laughs> Perhaps that man on the snowmobile had seen enough of this world already. Can we do that as well? Jump with the snowmobile? Okay, yeah, that fucking shit. Uh... Read that already so many times. Hope it's not what I'm supposed to find here. Looks sure in here. I'd really enjoy to have that key. Right, that would be. There must be something in the mailbox. Brown clock. Broken clock, how convenient. Off and on. Okay. Hmm. Nope, nothing for here. Ah, uh, wait a minute. I don't even see the number seven. We had seven, eight, nine, hadn't we? Uh. Hello. Boink, boink, boink. It really does something. Fuck yeah. 
All right, one post key. Ah, now. Okay, yeah, I didn't think of it. But yeah, it was the shop owner. But yeah. <laughs> Just keep the combination for your shit at your wrist. But maybe... The murder, ooh. the murder weapon. What was that doing there, Carl? What Mini key? Hamilton must have been determined to keep some information secret to post this key. Shame he got unlucky. Everything made sense now. Poor Hamilton's denunciation was interrupted. And he figured it would be best to lock everything up and send the key to his correspondent, who would receive the box later on. Clever, but not enough. <laughs> That's what happens to ordinary people playing spy. <laughs> Nobody kills a rich patient to start a revolution. It didn't make any sense. He had to dig deeper still to understand. Luckily, that was Carl Fulbert's specialty. Letter from Hamilton. It is as a citizen of Her Majesty and the free economic chambers of the world that I must address what follows to the proper authorities. The worst is happening at this very moment. I cannot write at length, but I am requesting immediate help from my country. I believe the free world is in grave danger. A member of my community, the Honorable... Oh, oh. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Uh-oh. Damn it, damn it, damn it. Okay. We got the small key. Uh, which is... Where's Kevin? Nah. Uh, inventory, consumer. What is it? No. The... Damn it, the box that we found at the very beginning. It's blade. The fuck? The very first box? Small box that we found in the car of the doctor? Yeah, oh god. Too much light. Ah, oh, shit. Fuck that. Okay. Hamilton's murder. An open grave. I'm scrapping. Okay. What to do with this? Who was burned here? This is getting darn complicated. A moth blowing. Blah, 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 blah. It's never good. I can easily trace back the chain of events. Hamilton wants to send a very confidential denunciation letter to the secret service in Ottawa. He's planning on sending the letter inside of a locked box and send the key separately. It's cumbersome, but he's doing what he can. But something throws him off while he's in a hurry. He locks everything and mails the key, but the box somehow ends up in his killer's hands. Yeah. Isn't that the box in the doctor's car? <laughs> the one I thought that we found? Holy shit, what the fuck? We found that shit, didn't we? What willst du denn? Are you kidding me? Or was the letter in the box? I do not fucking know. But the box is gone. So the letter was in the box? I don't... Hamlet, isn't that... To look inside... Must be, right? This driver definitely got shit. Uh... You're gonna attack me, right? I can smell that. I can see that. You bitch. Fuck you. Die. Bitch boy. Try that once again. Okay, you do. Nice. I'll cut you open. I will. Don't you.